the approach of getting a more individualized and stratified approach to CLA patients is just uh, about to start. We should still be aware that there is some general rules of CLA treatment that are based on the old factors like staging, uh, clinical um, signs and symptoms and so on and so forth. So I think as of today, uh, still the major decision points in CLL treatment are the classical ones. However, there's a pattern emerging uh, that might change uh, treatment indications fairly soon uh, that comes from factors such as immunoglobulin uh, mutational status, so the heavy chain mutations or the B-cell receptor mutations, all the same things. Um, where we see a very, very, very good response to classical chemoimmunotherapy once the B-cell receptor is mutated, so the hypermutated forms of the immunoglobulin heavy chain, while it's less effective in the patients that have unmutated status. And in, it's exactly in those unmutated patients where the new agents such as ibrutinib or idelalisib have particularly good effect. So the classical treatment in the physical fit patient with uh, CLL is still chemoimmunotherapy if the immunoglobulin status is mutated. In the others, we might see an emerging pattern of kinase inhibitors coming in this treatment. The next thing to actually already being established as a personalized approach or, so, or a more genomic-based approach of CLL treatment is as soon as you discover a p53 uh, mutation or deletion 17p so the overall term is a global dysfunction of p53 defined by, by genetic examination in these cases we already recommend in first line to use kinase inhibitors because we have seen that classical chemoimmunotherapies don't work so well so a patient with the deletion 17P, usually gets a first-line treatment with one of the kinase inhibitors. That's really changing and has changed over the last two years. In the, f in the future, now, let's say five years from now, we will probably use combinations of all these novel inhibitors and then follow the clonal evolution, uh, that is the decline of the CLI clones that are effectively treated and then we will watch whether all clones are disappearing or some clones are reappearing and need a different treatment. And we will eventually do that almost online until we reach a status that we would call MRD negativity, so the disappearance of minimal residual disease. And, uh, and then treat a few weeks or months beyond that point to eventually achieve uh, a functional cure. So we really treat uh, until the last CLL cell or a minimal amount of CLL cells, cells is remaining and uh, we actually can call this functional cure. So that's the upcoming future and I'm talking about this not in a hypothetical scenario but because we are designing clinical trials now just to, to do that pattern of treatment.